Hey everyone, N7 here with the first episode of Nagali Park, and with me today commentating is my bro, Mass Bandit 102. That's me. Hey guys. That's you. That's me. Woo! So what are we building I'm, here today, John? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really excited because I have no idea what this is. So, John has conifer slopes, and I wanted a park of my own. So, I have started looking at different parks, and there's one in France called Niglo Park. Um, Niglo. <laughs> <can't> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and um, I kind of fell in love with it because it's really unique. Um, it's kind of small, but it's not really that small. Um, it has a lot of really kind of odd things going on. It, it, it's the kind of like weird park that, that I like. So, the first thing... What do you mean, building, like, like weird? Like, It's just kind of, like, things go together, but but why? There's kind of a <laughs> mystery in it. Okay. Like, there, there is a Las Vegas area with, like, a, a magic show in a tent, and Wait, I'm Las thinking... Las Vegas? There's a Las Vegas area that they've, they've okay, called so Las you're, Vegas. So what you like about it is that it's something other than American. Kind of, Coming yeah. up with American ideas. <laughs> it's kind of... I mean, like they have their idea ride, of what America is. This Route 66 car ride that literally just has a ride in grass with some cacti that are formed out of plastic... And cool. some buffalo and some bears. It's, it's oh, and for the record, weirdness. the name for the record, the name of your park because we've been oh, talking yeah. about this. Yes. It actually translates. It actually means hedgehog. Yes, it does. So, don't worry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's hedgehog park. It but your version. Park. I'm sorry. What's your version called again? It's called Nagali. Golly. So what are we doing here? I'm watching are, time lapse with you. Yeah, we're building a coaster. Um, so they've got what's called a Schwarzkopf uh, Jet 400 coaster at that park, and it's really that compact. Um, I'll is that just your? A, is that like just the standard lift uh, spiral lift? Like I, I, I have uh, in my home park, we had Wizard. Is that the same mm-hmm. basic thing? Pretty much, yeah. Um, okay. Except it's not as big as the the Wizard. It's um, right. Yeah, it's pretty compact. Um, And if you look in street view of this park, you see how small this ride really is. And so I really wanted to to, um, kind of accentuate that here. Um, And the reason why I chose this park in the first place is because Planet Coaster forces you to build so big all the time that I wanted to try something where it forces you to be small. So you can see, um, like, the train track is really close to the paths, and it crosses over a, a number of times, and these rides just, they're not that big. Yeah, that train track is actually really cool. I, I, yeah. Uh, in addition to the time lapse here, you've sent me a couple pictures. Not mm-hmm. of the train track, but, yeah, it's, like, how close it is. Like, you've done a really nice job with the terrain, and, I, I'm yeah, I'm excited to hear this. This is very cool. So, yeah. keep going. So what I'm doing here is I'm building the supports for this uh, roller coaster type, which has like external supports structure, um, and then the track that spins around it is supported by that same structure. So it's super oh, compact. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. It, like I'm really impressed with how tiny this footprint is. It's it's really kind of impressive. I didn't cool. know. I just said I was impressed, but you know. <laughs> it's- <laughs> It's meant to be a bobsled, bobsled, and it's supposed to have like an electric lift. But since we don't have that type, the junior coaster worked well enough. Um, yeah, I think it comes across nicely. And so what uh, I'm yeah, doing the- here is I'm just expanding those uh, supports, and then I'll start actually building the exterior supports as well. Cool. That sounds great. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. So <laughs> <laughs> just keep rolling. John's had a few beers. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, no, I I totally forgot what I was going to say, and it's not because of the beer. It's just because I'm absent-minded at best. So, no, but the the, the compactness of this is is very impressive. So, uh, uh, kudos to you, I suppose. Thank you. <laughs> how long oh, you're did it complimenting take? Complimenting me. I know. Uh, <laughs> how, uh, how long did it take you? I know we're watching in time lapse. Is, are there cuts in this time lapse, or is so we're watching? Yeah, we're watching four time lapses. And so what I'm going to do in this park, um, because I don't necessarily like watching other people's time lapses that do Thanks. a crap ton of detail. No, a crap ton of detailing. <laughs> 
Um, I, I'm only doing hours worth of time lapse, and then I'm going to do detailing off screen. Did you so have a that, timer for that? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, had tr- I had my trusty phone for that. It has a timer. I was function. just God. I was just trying to be a jerk, and you actually had it. A- <laughs> yes, I had. I had to set. You know what is an hour? So that God, I you're would- anal. Y- yes. This is why Bro Coaster works. <laughs> you keep me in line. Detailing is awesome for me. I, I personally like the the grind of it because it's there's something therapeutic about it, but it's not necessarily fun to watch. So. I you're, and you know what you're rubbing off on me because I spent a couple <laughs> hours in Conifer Slopes today curbing and adding crosswalks, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> but it oh, looks it, so good. It right, sucks guys, while yet. Yeah. It looks so good. It sucks while you're doing it, but then when yeah. you look back at what you've done, you're like, yeah, that looks like legit. And mm-hmm. Yeah, I get that. So I understand. So but what's happening? Under- oh, go, yeah. Go so what's no, happening no, no, here is um, I'm trying to form concrete type, like formed concrete mountain. Um, I want it to look fake, honestly. And I can only get so far with Planet Coaster because the textures and everything is just so good. But this is <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to create very harsh um, slopes and stuff like that, so it looks like formed so rockwork un- with concrete. So 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 unnatural transitions. Mm-hmm. Okay, absolutely. And Got so it. It, it takes a bit to kind of form it into place because the tools you have to use the really really small tools. Um, but I think it, you know, I think it works out really well. Yeah, I've 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 really learned that in Planet Coaster, the smaller size tools you mm-hmm. use, and uh, for you wanting to get an unnatural um, look, the mm-hmm. higher intensity is better. But mm-hmm. I know that if you're looking for a more natural look, low intensity and low footprint is, is yes. really what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting to see how a high intensity with a low footprint is what you needed for an artificial look Mm -hmm. so you'll see yeah you'll see especially as this mountain takes shape is that it's really just a block of uh, of what i would call like rebar and concrete Mm -hmm. um and what i'm doing now is i'm building that concrete base out so that um if in case the car ever valleyed which it might not do because it's it's carrying quite a bit of speed but if it did you could get out and walk and and get to safety that's pretty cool. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's hard to see so far as far as your details go, but as someone who's seen um, pictures of where this is going, it, mm-hmm. it's very cool. Uh, so, so what made you want to do a project like this? Like, you're 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 famous as far as <laughs> in in the pla- in the roller coaster tycoon genre. You're go. famous for of not finishing projects. No, no, no. <laughs> see, you. I, I was gonna say CPG. Like, that's one of the. <laughs> Benchmark roller coaster tycoon projects, mm-hmm. Crabtree Pleasure Gardens, and even after it stopped being a community effort and became all of you, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. like, like this is not CPG at all. No, it's not. But how um, did you find this? I think it was on. Um, oh gosh, where did I find this? I think I was talking to a Planet Coaster nerd, much like myself, on Discord, and he mentioned this park to me or something like that, and I I was taking a look at it. Or somebody was trying to build something like the entrance to that park, and then I decided to check it out on Street View, and I was like, oh my god, it has Street View, so I started walking around, and I was like... This is a really cool park. I love. This yeah, that's park. That, that. That's one of those really important kind of things. Is for people who are really into realism, like Mike and I are. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you can find a park that has uh, uh, first person walkthrough, what's that called? Mm-hmm. Uh, Street View. <laughs> Street View. There you go. Like yeah. Dolly Dollywood is one of those that we've used a lot in No Name mm-hmm. Landia, and and that is an invaluable tool. It's really. If you're into the realism thing, it's really important to use is uh, Street View if you can. Yeah, because otherwise you would have to have gone to real parks and you would have, have to have had those parks around you. But now you can kind of get a sense. And the other cool thing that you can use if you can find it are long um, sort of like park vlogs where people are just walking around and you can get a sense of how things work within the park. You know, how it's supposed to look when it's in motion, um, how it looks at certain times of the year. Yeah, things like that. Th- those details mm-hmm. that are more than just tacking on another set of crates or another set of barrels. It's it's really trying to get the feel of the park. Oh, what's this? Ooh, we got sort of cinematic. So this is. Oh, um, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> this is after the first um, big 
day, so I've got all the rock work done and uh, a lot of the landscape set up. So that's wow. Um, yeah, you're a wizard at angles and mood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. So, <laughs> so this part <laughs> that's going to happen a lot. So this part <laughs> is my first like themed building. This is supposed to be. Uh, this is named Dragon. So I wanted to have some kind of cliche uh, Chinesey type things. Um, so this is a like a temple pagoda or a shrine at the top of the mountain. I see you're using that technique there with the copying and the yeah. And I'm still in- not. I'm still not very good at it, so, and you'll see that it looks a little jank still, but I kind of liked it, so I kept it. Yeah, you're working way too hard on this. You, you, <laughs> you should have deleted 90% of that, and that would have made it so much easier on yourself. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, it, you, you, you're learning, it's okay. So, back to CPG, I'm not ready for that park yet. My vision for that park is... Um, Considerable. I've pretty much planned out every area. I know what rides I want, and I'm not ready to do it yet in Planet Coaster. Really? Nope. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So this oh. is this is my first foray into a non no name Landia Park, and we'll see. Boy, that's crazy that you haven't done anything. Like that's awful to say. That sounds so condescending, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh meant to be. God. Oh my god! Like you haven't done anything other than no name Landia. <laughs> No, but like it's the fact true, that though. like you don't have a standalone Planet Coaster Park. I don't. That's mind-boggling. <laughs> uh, so, are we gonna wait till this finishes before you even attempt CPG? Are you waiting for more things from Frontier for CPG? Are I'm we ever waiting. gonna see CPG? <laughs> I'm waiting for uh, definitely the game to stabilize a little bit more and standardize. Um, I know that friction is coming at some point, and that's going to be huge for the rides because, I mean, I don't want to have to redo things like we're doing in No Name Landia. I know. So, um, I thought about doing the farmhouse, but I knew that that was going to be a slippery slope to trying to build more, and I'm just not ready to give that time commitment yet. <laughs> farmhouse and then you'll change the water in front That's, of it seven different times yes <laughs> every Hope. cpg iteration has started with that damn farmhouse how, i wonder how many people that are watching this right now have even played roller coaster tycoon 3 i know like i thought like, there would be more crossover but some i know just didn't, didn't get like into our it. like our most recent bro guest ruble he's never mm-hmm. played roller coaster rct3 yeah. And that's such a mind f because he's so good at Planet Coaster. Yeah, uh, yeah, it blows my mind. Time. Absolutely. Oh, episode twenty six, guys. Episode twenty six. I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my so god, great. so great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while you're while we're plugging other uh, videos, go ahead and plug my uh, deco font, will you? Yes, his deco font <laughs> is awesome. Go download it. Download it's called it. Vertical integration, bitches. There'll be a link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to do it. Yes. No, you don't. It's okay. <laughs> so what are we so, doing? So we're still working on this pagoda thing? Yeah, we're still building the shrine. And at this point, I'm trying to put the pillars in. But um, since it's so compact, you can see that... Well, yeah, actually, you couldn't see it was going too fast. But that pole went straight through to the, <laughs> the second track level. <laughs> So oh. um, I had to find a smaller pole and, you know, searching through everything in Planet Coaster to see if it works. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's my favorite part of time lapses where people scroll the menus. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see the frustration in 600% uh, yes. speed. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, is this going to be an example of forced perspective or what's your, what's your plan here? I probably could have done something forced perspective, but I, it, I, I think it works. Um, you'll see at the very end, this is where I started coloring it black because I'm an idiot and why would I paint the roof red? That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut the time lapse there. I was like, nobody wants to see this. No, that's <laughs> I true. I don't want to see you highlighting a thousand pieces. No. <laughs> Well, and um, I think I think small. as far as um, yeah. force perspective goes, I, people try it in video games. They tried it in mm-hmm. Roller Coaster Tycoon. A couple of people have tried it in Planet Coaster. Mm-hmm. And personally, I have yet to see someone do it to where I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Like, so I just saw somebody do it actually. Um, they were doing a mine 
heart scene or something like that. Okay. And they had created a forced perspective hallway, and it was really effective. A hallway. Maybe that's what it takes, because, like, forced perspective mountains, as far as vertical and outdoors, mm-hmm. I it doesn't... It looks like, okay, there's a tiny house on a giant mm-hmm. mountain. Like, it yeah. doesn't... Because, if, especially if you're having a coaster going up there, it totally breaks it if you have a coaster going around, so... That's true, yeah. Yeah, I, I like that you haven't gone... Let's make it tiny to force perspective. So. No, and in this case, I just wanted to make sure that um, there was a little bit of detail, but not so much that it would be... I, I don't want it to be over-detailed. At the at the core of this park, I want there to be detail, but I don't want it to be like, oh, this is theme. So in this case, okay. I'm building like a little fake willow tree or a fake cherry tree right here. Okay, and I and, and as everyone knows, foliage and all that is kind of your jam. So My jam. It's your jam, yo. Uh, so, so I wanted park- it to look unnatural, and that's kind of what it does. Okay, and now, so this park is, is, if you go on the street view, ooh, POV. Woo. Woo. If you, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Can I talk during the POV? Is that of okay? Of course, of course. All Just right. Keep talking. I, I don't oh know, it's your, There's it's no your rules show. for this. Well, I don't know. It's your show. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, now nah, I forgot what I was going to say again. <laughs> Oh, you're a shit show. I love you. It is. This is true. This is why I'm here. We're, Susanna asked me, like, we talked about meeting up someday, because we said uh-huh. get to meet. And I said, he, she, she goes, I wonder what he's like. I said, he's my doppelganger. <laughs> I said, <laughs> exactly. we are the same person, just on opposite ends of the country. So, mm-hmm. yes, <laughs> it works we, that quite would well. be a really fun uh, meetup, I think. Cedar Point, 2019. 2019. Woo! Yeah. I might go in 2018 because I have to ride uh, Steel Vengeance. What the fuck? You'll have to go back in 2019. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) You'll make them mad YouTube dollars by then. (laughs) Even Susanna got a laugh out of that one. (laughs) So So we're into detail in here, huh? Yeah. This ride was built at a time when... um, you would normally see this on these kinds of rides. They were they were an attempt at theme, like they had an idea in their mind, and so some budget was put towards it, and that's why there's like this little waterfall grotto and stuff like that. And the fences that I'm going to be building right now, um, they're kind of nice. I, I, I like them. Cool. I, I think I kind of remember what I was going to ask. So, All right. <laughs> this park um, is clearly lower budget, but like as far as... Not, 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 it's, it's kind of lower budget. Like they've got weird stuff. So is this? Yeah. Can we expect more or less detail, um, or less, more or less theme compared to something like No Name Landia, where some areas are really heavily themed and detailed? Where mm-hmm. does this kind of rate in that? It's kind of interesting because there is a part of this park that is super manicured and really beautiful, and there's another part of this park that is. Let's just put grass down and concrete and call it a day. So I think okay. it's going to have that same kind of balance. It won't be as integrated, probably, as No Name Landia's like landscape and, and feel is. But we also haven't okay. finished No Name Landia, and I do plan to get real janky. Okay, you plan to jank No Name Landia up real good. Yeah. As, so as- so then I guess I, we should assume there's an older part of the park that's much more manicured and planned, and then like a newer kind of to keep pace kind mm-hmm. of okay much more so, like let's just throw the rides down whatever happens happens yeah so the real park um the real negro land um has uh hedgehog yes hedgehog <laughs> Al- alpina blitz i think it's called or something like that um which is a mock uh what i would consider a mock like uh intamin blitz but it's two different companies kind of the same ride though so it's definitely a much more teen uh, oriented type attraction um, and they didn't really do a whole lot with the landscape they just have grass and trees and the station's really nice but that's pretty much it okay and now we're in the midst of, oh there it went <laughs> and it's gone <laughs> so now we're working and on the station it's gone. why don't you um because this is a little bit different than a lot of youtube uh, series out there as far as how you're handling just how the videos work. Um, what's going mm-hmm. on? Like, we keep getting these weird cinematics in the middle. So, 
What's so what going you're, on? Yeah, what you're seeing is you're seeing an hour of me working on bits and pieces of the park, and then I turn the recorder off, and I work on it until I'm done working on it, and then I take a cinematic before I start working on the next one. So you see the progression of the detail, but you don't actually have to watch me place 50 or 100 pieces of fence and and move a bush like 50 times because that's what happens. <laughs> I see. So we'll get the general idea of an area for mm-hmm. five minutes because you're speeding this up six times roughly? Yeah. Okay, so we'll get about five minutes of idea and then the video will... And then in, you'll do it off camera and then the cinematic is of the finished idea? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right, that's cool. Well, that's the that's, that I, I have to say it's very different than a lot of what um, is on YouTube right now. So that's kind of cool. There, yeah. There's been like a, a, a I feel like there's been like a standard set, and I just kind of wanted to break it just a little bit. That's how own. you roll. That's how I roll. Mm, that's kind of that's kind of what we do, isn't it? <laughs> we kind of break the mold. <laughs> we try to while Thanks, staying man. within a, a mold. This isn't going to be like some French art or art house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> le, le danse de la noir like one of those like really that. weird movies that gets high yeah. praise and then you watch yeah. it and you're like what by the way have you ever seen lobster i have not <laughs> don't is, is that a movie <laughs> yeah the lobster is fucking terrible <laughs> it doesn't sound great i was so excited it's about a post it's about a weird society like future society where you have to be partnered with someone, and if you aren't, you go to this hotel, and you have 30 days to find a new partner, or you turn into the animal of your choosing. Okay. It's effed up. <laughs> like the, f- <laughs> the first half is good, and then it just goes off the rails. Don't watch it, ever. And all you in YouTube land, don't watch it, ever. <laughs> Wonderful. So if I could get back to what I'm actually doing here. Sorry, I hijacked your video. <laughs> For the station, I really didn't want to do like a building. I wanted it to be fairly open, um, so that's why I'm doing this uh, this cover that has these like round portals and stuff like that. And then um, you'll see in the the cinematic that um, I've just done a very simple black uh, sort of pergola over the station. Mm-hmm. I have to say different. those those little like circle because they're not arches. They're, they're very cool. And it's it. I think what's neat is how you're hinting at like a Japanese architecture, without mm-hmm. being so like stereotypical Japanese architecture. Like it's it's well, neat. It's it's, it's very. <laughs> I think it's smartly done. Well, thank you. Part of that yeah. is because Planet Coaster only lets you go so far with the, at the scale. <laughs> <laughs> Jab. <laughs> so you you make do with what you get. <laughs> yeah, but those round portholes, those are really cool. That, that, that's a nice little, nice little detail that that could yeah. go overlooked if you haven't watched this video. Mm-hmm. I think I mm-hmm. saw that um, in a botanical garden in Pasadena. I think this is mm. what they had as part of their Chinese garden. They had these really cool um, circular portals that that actually framed the garden really nicely. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. We have one in, down here in Houston. It's the uh, there's a Japanese garden, and oh, cool. oh, it's yeah, it's awesome. We'll have to go back there and have to look for round portholes. Yeah, look for round p- <laughs> well, port port portals, not portholes. Portals. <laughs> portals. Oh, now you're thinking in portals. Like the uh, theme park I made in Roller Coaster Tycoon Three. Yes, the one that you <sighs> keep trying to remake. No. Along with the others. Shut up. <laughs> I have three ideas in ten years. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I've got CPG. I'm going to remake like ten times probably. I make. I, you have no idea how excited I am for that. <laughs> you can't be that excited. <laughs> Very. Oh, God. No, I'm really excited. And everyone else is too. So, uh, Nobody enough with knows this, what it is. <laughs> enough with this silly park. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. This is actually very neat. It, I love it's it because it's neat. You continue to buck like the trend of what it's, popular of what popular planet coaster design is right now. It's no fun to do the same thing. At least not to me. It's it's not fun to to try and better somebody else who's done it better. Mm. I like to I like to go in my own lane. And it's just it. <sighs> We talk about this in Bro Coaster, but it's so frustrating. 
because Planet Coaster has the potential to be so incredibly realistic. Mm-hmm. It and does. yet, and yet, there's so few people that take it up on that. Well, I mean, okay, so there's definitely there's a larger community at stake here. There's there's a community that that really wanted a good management game and didn't get it, and so they're just kind of making do. And there's some right, people that right. that really want to make cool parts out of this, and I think that'll grow over time, but it's just not there yet. Well, it's, it's, there's a difference between, like, cool parks and, like, realistic... Like, there's nothing wrong <laughs> who, with those. Who are you like, talking about, John? What? Who are you talking about, John? Would Nobody. you like to name a name? <laughs> Everybody but us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really no. cool. So, so, to give it a little bit of texture, I checkerboarded and then moved them up so that you could get... Like a shingle or a, like a ceramic tile type feel. Well, that's a smart way to do it because a lot of people would offset them by half. Mm-hmm. So you just moved them. Just move them just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, and checkerboard. That's that's intelligent. I appreciate that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm stealing that. Sweet. Yes. There's so many things I've. I think I've stolen from you. Really, I mean. <laughs> If you weren't around to build the themed buildings, I would be like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you know, I realized that the other day is when you look at like the theme buildings in No Name Landia, they're all mm-hmm. mine, or mm-hmm. they're all Ryan, Ryan's, Ryan. <laughs> they're all Ryan. They're all Ryan's better version of mine. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's which true. I will. He does have which. Books. And I will still take credit for those. So I want to know how the hell you got rid of the crappy in-game gates. Um, I think you're overthinking this, honestly. I think it's the coaster type. And I also have the no, station. No, no, it's not. Because this coaster type does have normal gates. So I, I have four cars to this train. Um, and it has the... You enter on the same side, you leave on the same side. And it never produced the gates, so I don't know what you're talking about. You're going crazy. You're a lucky duck, because that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it is and awesome. And if Frontier ever watches this, and they make it this far in the video, please, please, please... <laughs> Between the <laughs> <I'll>, bitching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> allow us to remove the gates and make our own. Yeah, I think somebody said that they wanted, like, Coaster Anarchy. It's like, all right, well, I mean, mm. that would be cool. Mm-hmm. For the people that want it, I mean... Yeah. And I know you, we argue that, like, sometimes that's a slippery slope, because then you end up with TPS, but... <laughs> eh, I don't know, like, what's... I don't know, I don't know. So what's going on here? <laughs> so I'm building this little thing that I thought would be, like, a cover for the... Um, the... I don't know, the, the thing that makes the coaster go, the electricity, the just the mechanical bit. Okay. I don't know if it's actually functional. But oh, I it was oh, cool. oh, wait, wait, shh, shh. <laughs> Cinematic. Ooh. Whoa. So you can see the, yeah, you can see this the station cover now. Okay, so we've skipped a whole bunch here. You skipped a whole bunch because that station took the, a while uh, to What's build. the transfer track going on there? So... I actually saw this in the the POV. The transfer track goes to the right, and it goes down into a shed, and that's how they store oh. the extra cars. Okay. Oh, and my favorite part is is what I learned from you. Me? Yeah. Signage. No. Custom signage. Woo. Well, you're way more anal than I am about it. I just fucking wing it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you well, make this sign? Uh, what do you mean? Like, the, the font here, did you make that? Well, I didn't make the font, but I took a picture of it and I turned it into a billboard so that oh, I Oh, could... okay, 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 yeah. but you didn't, like, okay. No, I didn't So make you're gonna font. you're gonna make your own custom sign? I did make my own custom sign, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. Yay! I Yay. did it! So they're God, almost a real as, boy. They're almost as good as mine. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to take that from you. You make some awesome signs. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's something I mean, it's that the I kinda... one thing you do well, but yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy doing that. And and any and it's not that hard, friends. People that are watching this. It's it's not that it, hard. 
It's really not. You just have to find a small enough piece and then just copy it a bunch of times. That's the hardest part is finding a small enough piece. Yeah. Boy, I tell I, you what, Fog, um, who does all those fonts, as someone who just released their font, remember, the link to the font that I made <laughs> is in the description below. <laughs> but, oh, you whore. <laughs> Fog made a whole bunch of really awesome fonts, and I realized that he uses um, pyramids, and just the point sticks out. Just the tip? Just the tip. I didn't. This is not a bro closer video. I'm not going there. <laughs> you just did. Nope, you did, not me. And anyway, like an O in his font is like 120 pieces. Holy crap. Right, and it That's looks great. Like, let's not take anything away. It looks great. Um... And I didn't realize that till after I made my font. So I don't know where I was going with that, but it, it's it custom. <laughs> that you're better custom, than him? <laughs> no, no. His fonts are amazing, and and but custom signs, custom fonts are not impossible. It's just no. again, like you said, finding a small enough piece or finding mm-hmm. a piece that has a small enough part. And then being okay with the fact that it looks like it's pieced together. You're not gonna mm-hmm. see it from far away, so just deal with it <laughs> that's true at some point like see and you always laugh at me when i say good enough yeah i think you finally realize that good enough sometimes really is good, enough. good enough yeah uh-huh. and that's all you need you need like when you're building a whole park you need the idea mm-hmm. that's kind of like if i were to build make a bro basic it would be like the whole grand idea mm-hmm like, you've clearly got this here with what you're doing. You've got this great idea of this theme park Asian architecture without going into such meticulous detail that you're going to crush your frame rate. That's what I'm hoping not to do, yeah. I'm hoping to have it run pretty well. Right, and and that's that's what's so important is you have to strike that, that balance. And it mm-hmm. seems like you're you're well on your way, so. Aw, thanks, buddy. That's It's your video. I'm here to prop you up and make you feel good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I do that then? I, I, hey, your that's that, th- th- Those are your demons, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a team player. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> One cool thing that I uh, forgot to mention as I was building the dragon sign, and this is something that I learned from Ryan, is that if you tilt um, those flat pieces, you can actually get rid of the seam, and it will make a seamless like background. Wait, so what? If- if you so when they put those two wood pieces together, the the beveled edge comes through, so it creates a line. So to create a seamless um, kind of board there, what I did is I just tilted those pieces just a little bit, so it creates an imperceptible valley, and then oh, it so gets rid of the you're line. Not, you're not you're not like um, on the grit, whatever it's called, the the angled snap. You're not using that. No, no. Okay. I will have to rewatch that because I still don't understand what you're talking about. So, <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just remember I learned it from Ryan, and that's all you need to know. Well, then I probably can't do it. Because <laughs> he's so what very I, good. What I did here is I stole from the station because I didn't want to have to redo that piece, and I put it back onto the dragon side because I'm resourceful. Not, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I just built a station for gravity. Uh-huh. Yit- 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 I don't even know how to Yitty say it varg. backwards. Yit- varg. It sounds Swedish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's awesome at kosher design, sucks at buildings, and I offered to build him a station. And he's actually ripped my station apart and used it in different parts. There's nothing uh-huh. wrong with that. Like no, it, it's... it adds it adds cohesion to your to your design here. Absolutely. So when yeah. I brought the when I brought the roof over, it was way too tall um, for the scale of the sign, and so I just knocked that top off, and it, I think it worked out really well. No, I agree. I think that looks really good. And again, it's it's similar enough to be like, oh, same area, but different mm-hmm. enough to not look like you're just copying and pasting. Yep. Cool. That's the idea. So That's this is well you know this achieved. time lapse is about to come. Let's get a little bit further to go, but. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You've still got like three minutes. So. Okay, perfect. Well, I, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> well, I just looked on YouTube. It says three minutes. Uh, well, you're special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another thing that I did to the sign um, that you might consider doing when you put something like the text in, um, give it a little bit of a drop shadow by copying it and just moving it and offsetting it. Um, and then, I like, can concur it... with that. Yep. 
that is something I started doing with the last several signs I've done, and the the amount of difference that makes it's really staggering. It, it, it's important. I highly yeah. recommend. Yeah, I agree. That's important. so on this sign. In this sign, it has the black background. It has the red letters on the front, and then it has that white um, striping, and that really kind of sets it off, and especially like the cinematics at the end. Right, because like even though red and black are clearly very contrasting, that white just helps it really does make mm-hmm. it pop that's it's mm-hmm. very yeah i agree 100 percent. also do custom signs guys it's really it makes a huge difference right like people like fawn over mine and i'm like it's not that hard you just gotta <laughs> do it but i don't want to say it's not that hard because then everyone will do it and people will stop appreciating me so <laughs> okay well there you go Vanity i mean it's, takes it's, over. it's really yeah it's really really hard don't don't even try <laughs> Just ask me to make your custom signs. I'll do it for you, dude. Mike, you need any custom signs? I'm your boy. <laughs> oh, you idiot. I'm, I, <laughs> Woo, here we Ooh, are. another cinematic, yes. All right. I'm excited. I think it's turned out really well. I, I, I really nothing. like it. Yeah, I got nothing to say. This is great. <laughs> Dragon. I stole, the, I, I stole those lamps from Syl, and I just repurposed them. <laughs> Boy, he's on a lamp tear. Have you watched uh, he, the most yeah. recent grapefruit? <gasps> yeah, he's, he's really good a at ton stuff. Of lamps, yeah. It's like he's really good at Planet Coaster or something. <laughs> it's like he's really, really good. He is. It's like he's like worth a hundred thousand subscribers or something. Look at that jank. I okay. So one one detail you might not notice, but I've really janked up this queue to make it feel like it's been dilapidated a little bit. Oh, intentionally. Mm-hmm. I like kind of how it's almost overgrown. Like you assume this coaster has been here for a while. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Like like those coasters are older. Like those are what late seventies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. The surprising and thing that I saw on the coaster that I was referencing. Oh, POV. Was that, yeah. Was that um, they actually had trees growing in the middle of the lift? I was like, all right, I gotta steal that. Really? Yeah. That's unusual. Yeah. Well, that's an, a, a bygone era, I suppose. So this is our this is our little dragon coaster, huh? Mm-hmm. This is exciting. I'm I'm excited for this because um, you're really good at these kinds of details, and like everyone bitches about you repositioning stuff in <laughs> No Name Landia, but. If it weren't for you, No Name Landia wouldn't be half of what it is because you have this attention to detail and placement and and just, like, era. And so this is going to be, like, No Name Landia on steroids. Aw, thanks, buddy. Not. And with that, thank you for watching, and I <sighs> hope to see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we'll make a few more of these. Yeah. <laughs>